everyone it's from it's Evelyn with Cats Play Art and today I'm going to do a angel wing pour one more time uh, the last time I did this I was not very happy with the end result beautiful painting but I stretched the wings a little too much so I'm going to try a little bit something different plus I didn't really have enough paint so I've got a 16 ounce cup and I've got my paints mixed up so I'm going to start layering as I talk I hope everyone is well and doing good. I'm going to get a nice thick layer of white paint on the bottom. I'm going to add a little bit more. I can always stop pouring if I have too much paint, but if you don't have enough, then it's just not going to work. So it's about seven ounces of white paint in this cup. So in for a penny, in for a pound. Uh, and today I'm using Artist Art Mart Heavy uh, Heavy uh, Acrylics mixed with a little bit of uh, pouring medium and Floetrol uh, in all my colors and that was titanium white and this time I'm going to layer them a little bit different this is uh, Art Mart Deep Violet and this is Art Mart Bright Aqua Green. And you'll notice I'm trying to layer them side by side. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, as I said, I'm going to try a little bit different. I'm going to put the violet over the aqua. This is, uh, I'm using the same colors as the last angel wing I did, and I'm using the paint that I had mixed up, so I know it's nice and thick, and the right consistency, that's why they're in the squeeze pottle, bottle, um, should I do another layer, yeah, I'm going to go one more layer, alternating between the lavender, or the violet and the aqua green. They said I want to make sure I have plenty of paint this time because last time I was kind of disappointed that I didn't seem to have enough paint. Okay. Put the caps back on these so I don't dump them over. Now you'll notice at the end of my canvas I have a cup. It is a layered mix of black and silver, and that is the way I am going to finish off this painting instead of trying to stretch it. I always do that with my finger and end up with black paint on my finger. You can always tell whenever I've painted with black because I have a black finger. Okay, let's do this. Once again, I'm getting up and going to the end of my painting. Sorry. And let's pour. I'm trying a little bit different uh, camera angle today. With the hopes that I get a little bit better video out of it. 
didn't think I put that much black, but apparently I did. really want to kind of keep that from sliding over the edge but I'll be honest I don't want to stop pouring because once you start stop you can't really continue back over so it does not go off okay forgive me but my nose is running get that white paint down to the bottom before I do anything else. Stretch it just a little bit toward me. A little bit the opposite direction. I have to tell a little bit more. Opening it up a little bit. Going real slow, trying to uh, not lose too much of my my greens. Back. Back 
the center. I had to tilt that a little bit more than what I wanted, but that's okay. Let's see if I can... thought the black and silver would be a great complementary to the uh, angel wing. And you want to make sure your canvas is covered with paint. So I saw a uh, Not exactly perfect, but it it is beautiful. So let me pause the camera and bring you down for a closer look. Okay guys, I'm back and here's the finished painting. I have to admit, I'm not liking it. Now I have to decide whether or not I want to scrape it or if I want to just let it dry and paint over it at another time. I just didn't get the colors I was wanting out of it, so I don't know what I'm going to do. But I promised myself when I started my YouTube channel that I would post not only my successes but my failures and I'm going to classify this one as a fail. If you like the content of my uh, channel, please hit like, subscribe, and make a comment. Thanks, guys. You have a great day.